behalf of Education Africa, welcome to our third virtual International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival. Let the power of music continue to connect us beyond all barriers. On behalf of the directors of Education Africa, James Erdang, our CEO, Nicholas Hall, our COO, and Wendy Sena, our Financial Director, we would like to welcome everyone who is watching and participating in this third Education Africa Virtual International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival 2022. What a joyous occasion to be celebrating this, our 30th birthday, with everyone around the world. I'm Joan Lithgow, the Festival Director from Gauteng, South Africa, the home of this festival. I would like to thank our six adjudicators, sponsors, and you, the participating performers and virtual audience members, for your support. Please visit our introductory episode for the full speech and a whole lot more of added value content, including details about the adjudicators and the adjudicating process. Enjoy the festival. St. Dominic's Catholic School for Girls Boxburg Demolition Marimba Band from Gauteng, South Africa. St. Catherine School Grade 11 Band from Gauteng, South Africa.
we have Value College from Gauteng, South Africa. <laughs> College from Pumalanga, South Africa.
is Caro Hillcrest High School from KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. <laughs> Club Mareisburg, the Maris Band from Gauteng, South Africa. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Next up, John Wesley Community Center from Gauteng, South Africa. St. Dominic's Catholic School for Girls, Boxburg, Chromatic Blaze, from Gauteng, South Africa. Thank you. 
Next up, we have St. Catherine's School, Grade 10 Band from Gauteng, South Africa. Maris Brothers Lindmeyer from Gauteng, South Africa.
It's Boys and Girls Club Pro Tier Glen Rock Stars from Kauteng, South Africa. <laughs> from Eastern Cape, South Africa.
Next up, St. Mary's High School Waverly Junior Band from Gauteng, South Africa. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> College Boys High School Senior Marimba Band from Eastern Cape, South Africa. Thank you. 
Town Girls High School from Gauteng, South Africa. Small College Senior Marimba Band from KwaZulu Natal, South Africa.
Next up is Outreach Foundation from Gauteng, South Africa. High School from Gauteng, South Africa. One, two, three, and...
Next up, we have JP High School for Boys, Swanko Marimba Band from Gauteng, South Africa. <laughs> School Grade 12 Band from Gauteng, South Africa.
Artist Room Girls High from Northwest South Africa. Next up, we have St. Dominic's Catholic School for Girls, Boxburg, Sensational Band from Gauteng, South Africa.
next up, Boys and Girls Club Protea Glen, the rock stars band from Gauteng, South Africa. <laughs> Hillcrest High School from KwaZulu Natal, South Africa. <laughs> Thank you. 
Education Africa for me is a passion, it's a love. The impact that we have made on our children's lives is enormous. I found it possible for a dream to come true. The program has made a huge impact on the students as well as their communities. Some have gone on to be accountants, some lawyers, and we even have an aeronautical engineer. It fundamentally shaped, uh, reshaped my outlook on the world and my responsibility, I think most importantly, towards my country. You see that appreciation, and you see what impact you're making on people's lives. There's nothing better in this world. Early childhood development is the foundation phase of a child that is zero to five years old. So it basically lays a lifetime foundation for the child to be able to be developed physically, emotionally, socially, as well as mentally. The Education Africa ECD project is a project that was launched to empower women in disadvantaged communities in and around Soweto and we offer them substantial training to become qualified ECD teachers. We are able to uplift these women so they are able to go back to their schools and train up their children to be able to be school ready. The program has made a huge impact on the students as well as their communities in the sense that they have been able to show communities what value there is in ECD. The most significant changes that I've seen is seeing them grow and to grow in confidence whereas they are able to confidently go and apply what they have learned in the training room in their schools. Once the students have completed the program, they are able to become interns at our organisation in the ECD department. They also have the opportunity to open up their own centres. A Marimba Hub is a centre or a school that we identify where ideally there are surrounding schools and that's where we place our Marimbas with the intention that the teachers will be trained at that school where the Marimbas are housed as well as the surrounding schools. It gives the community and the children in those communities a place to call home where in most cases they don't have a safe space. So it creates a safe space where they can grow. It's wonderful to see the children grow in confidence as human beings, to be able to work alongside each other, to improve their listening skills, to improve their schooling through our wonderful Marimba Hub program. Education Africa International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival is the largest festival of its kind in the world. Due to COVID, we introduced the virtual International Marimba and Steel Pan Festival, and now we have a global participation. We introduced our international arts and culture tours to enable our wonderful marimba players to perform overseas and give them the wonderful opportunity of traveling to different parts of the world. It was my first opportunity to travel to a new country, experience a new culture, and getting to play on that big stage with fellow musicians. That was um, something that was memorable for me. The Sounds of Celebration concert is a social cohesion concert bringing children from all walks of life together on one stage, celebrating music. Masin Bambani's journey started in 1994. It was officially opened in 1996. It was built in Orange Farm at the request of the late Walter Sisulu, where he wanted to see a high performance school built in a disadvantaged community. I was born and bred at an Orange Farm and I attended Masabamana College from grade zero until grade 12, and I matriculated there in 2013. Currently, I'm working at Masabamani College. I'm a marimba coach and an alumni coordinator. 
our school partners are St John's College who assist on the educational level and enables us to have a school with top results in the middle of a poor community. I really enthusiastic to wake up every morning to see the kids. I see myself in them when I see them every morning. The South African Model United Nations is a youth leadership program built off the model of the UN General Assembly debate to develop our future leaders. It pairs disadvantaged schools and people from resource schools. And that's amazing because we actually work together and help each other, which is what our society should be like. Model UN in the context of South Africa is important because I think it goes beyond the classroom. It allows young people to do research, to be engaged, to be critical thinkers and better speakers. And how the program has changed my life, I could write a book about it and sometimes you know, I'd never have enough time to actually say how much it actually impacted my life. Education Africa, because of COVID, have got down very quickly as a group of social entrepreneurs to develop blended teaching platforms. This is using books plus your RCT platforms, which we've seen gives the learner and the teacher better learning experience, which we are now incorporating into our programs going forward. What I love the most about Education Africa is their passion for young people, their passion for creating future leaders of South Africa. It's been such a great experience since the very beginning and that's why I'm still involved. There's something about this program that just keeps you here and keeps you interested and makes you want to give back. An investment in Education Africa as an investment into South Africa's future is education and however way we wish it to manifest in a better way than it currently is. Education Africa is driven by passionate people on the ground. We know how to do the work, but one thing that we do need is funding. And every single person out there who gives us a dollar or a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, whatever it might be, that's the only way we can do in delivery. So we need your help. Mm -hmm.